morning and welcome to a special shelter in place version of the jet experience there's one thing we need to take care of and this is a common problem with with especially older uh, model s's uh, but one of my door handles is uh, broken basically uh, i'll go show what it is i already know what the problem is because i've had to fix one of these before i've got my helper right here mr declan hi <laughs> and then to go with the Model 3 or the Model S is we've got Declan's Model S and we're storing all the tools that I'm going to need right in his frunk. So let's flip the camera around and we'll go look at what the problem is. So if I use the key to unlock the car, all the door handles should auto present. However, oh there, I just locked it, so now I'll unlock it. You'll see this one came out, this one did not, and if we listen, you can hear the motor going. So the two common problems that happen with these door handles are the wire harness will break or the, uh, the there's a little uh, gear in there which will break. And I already know what's wrong with this one because one, the handle over there, the other rear door has already broken and I've already replaced it. Plus, when I closed this door several weeks ago, I heard the piece shatter and fall to the to the bottom of the door. So now we're gonna get in there, take the door handle out, and then put in the new gear that I just got, as opposed to having to bring it to Tesla. And they know this is a common uh, problem for the door handles. So what they've been doing, uh, if I remember right, is uh, they said they're only charging for the part, but they're not charging labor because they know that these gears that they put in are basically a substandard, almost like aluminum, and they break very easily. Uh, the piece I'm putting in is steel, so it should be a lifetime fix. To get the door handle open, or get the door open, uh, luckily I don't have to crawl through, so all I need to do is open the front, and then just reach around and grab the handle, and open it up from the inside. Now that it's open, I can start getting in there and uh, taking out the pieces. It's pretty simple. I'm not gonna be able to hold the camera while I'm doing it, but basically I take out uh, this little uh, kind of cover in here, and then there's one uh, hex bolt to take off, and then take off this little cover, and then there's two star screws in there uh, to take out, or star bolts. Um, T30s in here, and then this, uh, I'm pretty sure, is a 10 millimeter on this version of it. Uh, after that, then the essentially the entire door panel will pop off. And there's Declan sitting in the car helping me out. He's playing with some tools right now. So I've got the door panel off and there's about three different uh, wire pieces uh, that are wire harnesses that I need to unclip. Uh, once I unclip those three, then this door will come right off. And that's just this one right here. There's this one right here, which comes up underneath uh, the insulation and then uh, this wire piece which goes to the door handle at that point then it'll be taking off uh, This rubber seal right here and then getting in there and taking off a few bolts uh, to release the uh, the door handle assembly Okay, let's get fixing. So I've got the door handle or the the door off now. I'm just going to take off this little kind of weather seal It's got uh, super sticky like rubber tar on the back side and we'll set that off to the side. Kind of toss it off to the side, I guess. So, probably going to be quite difficult to see. I mean, so here's the door handle assembly. And then there's one, let's see, there's one, two, three, and four uh, bolts in there that have to come out. And you can actually see that gear trying to spin and present the door handle. There it goes right there. So uh, we know that's the problem. And I'll bet if I reach down in here, I will find the broken piece. Oh, and here's another common thing uh, that this has fallen down, which helps bro block out some of the air noise from outside. Uh, not particularly finding it. I know it's in there though, because I heard it fall all the way down. So we'll see if I can find it while I'm pulling the door handle out. It's not the end of the world if I don't because I've got the new one to put in, uh, but it's gonna take a minute to get this out, so I'll get working on that.
right, so here's the door handle all taken out of the assembly. Here's uh, what it looks like from the front side. Essentially what we need is right down right here, you can see loose is the gear that I need to replace. And here's the new one of a much better construction, steel I believe. Basically we just gotta take the motor out to access it. And then there's a little uh, rod here that we slide over to be able to get the new one in. Uh, it's, uh, this part's not too tricky, too difficult. So we'll kind of show those snapshots uh, as I go along. Here's the broken piece as expected. Just, oh, here we go. Just this little, uh, little cheap thin metal right here broke off. And to compare the two, <clears throat> you can see th uh, this one's really shiny. Um, and then this one here, it's uh, a little bit more matte. I can tell just by looking at it, it seems to be a little bit thicker. It's gonna uh, be a little more sturdy. This one uh, we ordered from EV Tuning. So in order to, to get this in, basically we just have to slide this bar over just enough to make room to slip the gear in, and then we slide it back over. And about the only thing we need to do is there's a little C-clamp uh, right here that we just have to pull out with some needle nose pliers and then I'll be able to shimmy the bar over just enough to put this in So the one piece I didn't mention is there's a there's a little metal contact right here um, that's held on by a T10 uh, star screw. It, um, in order to get this out, I needed to remove that. It's just one, one little simple screw, and uh, that's what I'm putting back in right now. So as mentioned, since we discovered that this had fallen off, as I'm sure all the doors inside have, uh, I'm going to clean this up a little bit, take off a little bit of the dust. Uh, the sticky's not going to stick anymore, uh, but I'll just take some uh, Gorilla Tape or some military strength uh, duct tape and kind of uh, just wrap it around to, to seal it on there. So hopefully it'll make that door a little quieter. All right, got some one inch uh, Gorilla Tape black so it kind of matches it and I'll just put a few strips kind of around it to help hold this in place. All right, it's all packaged up and time to go reinstall it. But before we do the full installation, I'll plug it in to make sure the, da the, the door handle actually does work. All right, we'll do it this way. So let's get the cable. Plug it in. All right, handle presents. And it's locked. All right, that's good. Now to reinstall it. All right, had to stop filming for a second so I could fix something. What was happening, and I remember this happened on the uh, on the other door handle too is every time I would trick um, the handle into or the door into thinking it's locked by flipping this down and then pull the handle the window would slide down a little bit but not go back up slide down a little bit and then slide down a little bit until it, it's blocking all the bolts I need to get in there um, so what I basically just had to do was temporarily put the door panel back on close the door close up all the doors get in the driver's seat and then put the window back up. So now we're back up so we can get back to finishing the installation.
All right, now that the door panel's all the way back on, do a little test to make sure everything works. So handles out, door handle opens, and then we'll have, uh, see if we can put the window down. All right, window goes down and window goes up. And if we check the alignment, door handle looks pretty close to center to me. I think this is a successful repair. All right, climbing in and off to go take a test drive.